You don't need lots amount of protein people. That's an arbitrary marketing bullshit of the meat and egg industry. That's so desperately what did you to convince you to eat animal corpses and things that come up from other animals. And let me face it, animal uh, flesh, meat, I mean all of different terms for the same things. You don't need um, around something like a billion or more than a hundred calories from a protein. You only need around something around something like four, I think five grams of protein. That's not a lot. Actually, if you eat too much protein, your body become extremely acidic. The normal acidity of a human body is around something like uh, around something like seven pH. If you eat animal protein, particular animal protein, it's also lots amount of, of um, protein from animals. So just can but uh, actually meat protein is 10 times so acidic actually so then you will actually need to eat a lot of you want to get it from uh, protein from plant-based sources if your body comes to acidic uh, you can die actually so the body of a human have to find a way to neutralize the acidity Actually, that's quite easy how they are doing it. Because they are take photos, and you know, uh, your bones access at two things mainly uh, phosphorus and calcium. The body, the only uh, alkaline material in the human body is you cast it phosphor. And so, your body take phosphor out of your bones. In the process to neutralize the acidity, you pee out the calcium. That's the reason that all these show that societies that eat the most animal protein have the highest cost of osteoporosis, blood fractures, and cancer. Also, there's a funny thing about cancer. Are you aware that cancer? the best grow in one acidic body. How more acidic somebody's body is, how quicker the cancer cells can grow actually. There's also a reason why high protein diets be not so good for people with cancer. But that's not something that your doctor wants to tell you because they get subsidies from the meat, dairy, and egg industry, or their bosses get subsidies, and they don't know that they get subsidies actually. But the medical business get subsidies from it, and they are being their payout. They can say a lot of things to. Even organic, fair trade flesh, aka meat, aka uh, corpse, increased the chance of uh, dying from cancer. Actually, it's not more healthy if you eat organic, grass, grass if you eat um, meat, or you eat uh, non organic, um, grass free meat. There's actually only one. The whole fair trade organic 
etc. Attack the marketing to arms should be nothing more than that. There being actually not a lot different for the animals. They're still being enslaved. They're still the children will be stolen away from them. And still they're being raped. What I call actually artificial insemination. If you want things about thinking some situation from the victim point of view. You be not the victim. Vegans be not the victimizers. Vegans be the allied forces. Meat eaters. They be the Nazis. And if you feel offensive by that, that determination, then I want to say you. That's one uh, when that's actually one Jewish philosopher. Isaac Berse for Singer once said, he said, in his words, what dare know, all the leaders of the world, all these philosophers, they have convinced themselves that man, humanity, is the crown of creation. Let all other animals be nearly to be for fighting with food, with clothing, with entertainment. In relation to them, all men, all humanity, the Nazis, human beings see oppression frequently where they are being the victims. Otherwise, the victimized without one. Morality can only come from one source. Morality cannot come from malice. Morality can also not come from ego. Morality can only come from compassion. And that's the only pure form of human action. Malice can only be used for a good if you've been to protect the victims. Turn one min and one min in one plus. The Allied forces, they were noble. Or you think or not? Think you that the Nazis have the right to kill and and execute Jews. In the same right, the uh, elf and the arm. They are sent up for the victims. So if a wise, like uh, I'm, um, um, a wise elf activist wants to say, if we be trusted, then so are the allied force that break down the cage of Birkenhaus and Auschwitz. If we be the thieves, then so are the slave liberationists that free the slave from the south. If we be defenders, then so are the allied forces that break down forever the burger the cage of Berg and um, break forever the guest chambers of Birkenhaus and Auschwitz. And if there is my point over that, if there ever insert somebody, they're being just like the soldiers of Mandela, how kill racist. Cracker Britain soldiers to exchange the rights of blacks. And on top of that, say, 
in all the four years of um, operations of the Alp, no Alp activist have ever injured one human or an animal. It has been also not accidentally accident. Because the Alp have a strict code of non violence So screw all the vivisection laboratory liars that want to discredit the, the animal liberation movement and the vegan movement. As Malcolm X once said, if the people that have been in power want to create them, to, to justify something that's bad, they use the press and they create a humanitarian image for the devil. And they use the past to create a devil image for the humanitarian. This the past, when irresponsible past. If you not be careful, that will want to let hate the people that do that uh, pray to fight for the freedom. And despise the people and I, I love the people that are doing the oppression. There is no nobility in protecting victimizers. Victim martyrs. That's what I mean. In a world that can can uh, locate diseases from in cells and can see any molecules in any uh, in any uh, DNA. There is no, and I say no, excuse for carnism or only carnism. Go vegan. Don't make excuses for things that you also don't want that somebody make. For your oppression, you don't deserve rights when somebody else has not. That's injustice! That the majority supports something that is evil means that the majority is wrong. Just like the majority of white privileged little crackers was wrong in the time of Even they want to protect their evil habits, their beliefs, traditions and habits. One kind of inequality will always create another kind of inequality. There have been even studies that show that the dumber that the organs of a human slavery can by a form uh, fight, uh, find back to the organs of human, of uh, animal slavery. Slavery is a system where it groups against their own will, be socially oppressed, and turned in communities. It is not your right, based on your traditions your beliefs and your habits to deny other living beings their freedom so that you can harm them, enslave them, turn them into objects and entertain them. Does not what rights are a bug.